Hey guys, today I want to talk about how much you should train, what's the right mindset to find the right amount for you, what to stay away from, and a general benchmark of how much you should train if you're just starting out. What's up? Nakshon here. I create videos about how to move and how to better yourself in life. So if you're into this type of content, make sure to subscribe to your channel. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here's the problem. There's way too much information about how much you should train and how you should approach it. Some people will tell you you should train two times per week and some people will tell you you should train every day. When I started training, I did three times per week when I went to the gym and it felt amazing. It felt really good to be honest. And then I went to the Iropol South studio here in Tel Aviv and I've met people that actually do like six to eight hours per day, which is insane completely insane compared to what I've done so far. So let's say that the truth of how much you should train lies between doing two times per week and 10 hours per day. It's kind of a big range, but let's say that this is where the truth or the right way of training is. So the way to find out how much you should train is you have like four things you want to figure out. One is what are your goals? So if you're just interested in moving your body without any like specific goals in like, I want to achieve a specific movement or unlock something, that's like the one type of goal. Then you have people who want to push it like really hard. They want to achieve a one-arm handstand in a few years or in one year or something crazy like that. So there, there's that. The second thing you want to figure out is your availability. How much time do you actually have to train? Because we all have different circumstances in life. The third thing is how much experience do you have? Meaning how much is your body used to training? So if you've never trained before and you want to jump into training five times per week, uh, I wouldn't say it's the smartest choice. You want to take your time and get your body used to training. So it might take some time. And the fourth and last thing you should really, really consider, and a lot of people miss that for some reason, is how well you rest. Because if you're not resting well, it, you won't be able to maintain your ability to train very intensely and a lot during the week if you're not recovering well. Recovery is huge. It's the biggest non-talked about reason of how you succeed in training. So you have to pay attention to that. Okay, so once you have all of that in mind, what you want to focus on next is some sort of a guideline of how you should feel if you're training well enough and when you're not. So that would be being present at every workout and being ready for it, meaning you, you want it, you feel like you can do it with your body and you're not pushing yourself too much. I want you to be able to have quality in your workouts because I move and I want you to move from a place of feeling connected to your body and not as some sort of a machine that you're just using to achieve something, to prove something to yourself. I want you to be very aware when you're training. So that's really, really important. So let's say you're training four times per week and you feel like you want to try five times per week. You should do it, you should try it, but you want to listen to your body and see how it reacts. If you feel like after some time that you've tried it, that you're not recovering well enough from your workouts and every time you go to work out, you're like exhausted and you're pushing yourself way too much and you're using your willpower like every workout, that means you're not in a good place. And the period of time you want to compare yourself to is I would say at least three weeks because your body will adjust itself after that period of time and then you will be able to see okay am I not feeling the strongest am I not feeling very fresh and am I not feeling very present every workout because my body is just not used to training this much per week or is it because this amount is actually really bad for me so that's something you really want to pay attention to so what should you do if you're a beginner if you haven't worked out ever at all and this is like you're approaching your first workouts and you're asking yourself how much you should train. I would say for like at least four months, six months, you want to train for like three times a week and from there you can add more and more. Now, as we said at the beginning, you can do, you can, you, the truth lies between two times a week to eight hours per day, 10 hours per day. I think the summary of this entire video is that there is no one truth of how much you should train. It's all about you figuring out and it will obviously change with circumstances in your life change meaning maybe right now you have a lot of free time and you can work out so you will be able to do like two hours per day maybe more 
maybe a bit less and maybe some other times you'll have a, a newborn baby you know so you'll barely have any time whatever it is you'll find your own way but you definitely want to follow these guidelines of am i fully present in my workouts am i feeling energized am i ready for it if you're able to do that you're good i would love to hear how much you train and what you found to be like the truth for you like the right amount of training you do per week i know some people who train like a lot like way way more than me and for them it's like ah, it's nothing you know it's it's just easy for them for some reason and for others i know people who train much less than me and they look up to me as if i'm like a god for training four times a week now every workout of mine is like two three hours but it's it's really not that much compared to other people that i know so i would love to hear your thoughts if you're interested in learning how to move your body and how to better yourself in life make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you like this video give it a thumbs up it would really help me get to more people and grow this channel which is uh, would be really very helpful so uh, thank you <laughs> anyway have a good day good luck and uh, peace